Today, we're gonna build our own instant hotel, our own mini hotel, Airbnb, I don't know what you wanna call it. We should make a family or a young couple or something will come up with their story and then we could build their home that also functions as a mini hotel, an Airbnb, an instant hotel. I really don't know what to call it, so we'll have to figure that out. What is she wearing? I love her. <laughs> Um, she wants to be a friend of the world. That's good. She's good. That's good. <laughs> Athletic and neat. Oh, so it's a nice, neat hotel where she just loves to make friends with everyone, makes friends with the neighbors. She's a big selling point of getting people to come stay at her hotel is, hey, you can mingle with the locals. We have such beautiful culture here. You're going to meet some amazing people. Come bring the whole family. Whoa, hold on a second. <gasps> I didn't realize this lot had this beautiful water. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Wow, I forgot how beautiful this world is. I always go straight to the jungle. <gasps> this is a cute, oh my God, this is a perfect hideaway. Cause look, we're right by the town center, but it's also so secluded. Look, there's a rainbow. Look, is that a rainbow? It's a rainbow. Oh my God, it's a rainbow. Look, this could be a great place for the people vacationing here to come and have food and check out the rainbow. I've never used this lot before in this game. And then we're going to start building the house. Okay, so now we've got, we really got to think about what this house is going to look like. Um, do we want to go? Well, we said we want it more family oriented. Do we want to try to stick with the houses that are here already in Salvadorada? If it's a bed and breakfast, should we have like one kind of communal area, like a communal kitchen and a communal dining room and a communal living room, but then like upstairs, there are separate bedrooms. Ooh, oh my God, that's literally perfect. All right, I love this. Can you guys think of anything else important we should put on the outside before we move on to the floor plan in the backyard? I'm literally obsessed with this. <laughs> this came out so better than I could have imagined already. We're not even done. A mailbox? Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no! Frogs! <laughs> Listen, this might be my nightmare, but we're in the jungle, okay? <laughs> Downstairs, we also have two little half baths, so people aren't all over each other when they're trying to go to the bathroom brush their teeth and things. Again, this is a vacation home, so we wanna make sure that the Sims who come here are very comfortable and have all the necessities. Then in here, we have a little office so they can sit down, read a book, do some research, catch up on work. They could take a look at all our beautiful relics found in the jungle and ancient ruins of Salvadorada. And there's some archeology span tables in case they want to start uncovering some of the artifacts that they found. And then we're gonna make our way upstairs and upstairs we have a bunch of different bedrooms they all kind of have their own crazy color theme we have a nice little neutral ish <laughs> for me hallway <laughs> all right so the first room we're gonna go in is the kids room and we've got our friend our good old friend gary the giraffe here to visit you know i feel like if you want to go wild just pick like three or four colors and and use those over and over so here is our kids area, Gary protecting the door. Through here we have our cute little mint and pink with the cupcakes. Each room has its own theme. We got our suitcases over here. And of course, a little wardrobe. Then we have a Jack and Jill bathroom. So these two bedrooms share a bathroom, which includes a nice shower and tub combo. Thanks, I love the mint room too and toilet and sink and then through here we're gonna go into the purple room and the purple room is a little bit trippy a little bit psychedelic <laughs> we have the really wild crazy rainbow room <laughs> look it kind of came together look i know it's really crazy but i kind of love it <laughs> this is the peacock room <laughs> and then we have another bathroom Imagine sharing a bathroom with someone you didn't know. Well, you don't have to, it could be a family that rents this out. And then we have a little art area up here. And then this is of course our um, Sim. Her name is, what's her name? I forgot. <laughs> 
She had a cute Nina, 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 and her daughter Esmeralda. Nina is. A single mom raising her daughter. She's also the mayor of Celadrava. It's a very small town, so it's you know not like she's managing a ton of people, but she is the mayor. She has a lot of work to do, and she decided to open a bed and breakfast as well so that she can earn some extra money, leave something to her daughter when her daughter gets older. And that is why we built this cute little house. I hope you guys like it. I had a lot of fun building it. Like, honestly, I love it, even though it's a little quirky. I'm a little quirky.